no matter how old your sons and daughters are, they're still your children. Even though Ross was 31, he's just my kid, you know. He was a dedicated family man, quite gregarious and could be cheeky and it just really made us laugh. It was, it was so funny. He was just a good, good man. You know, you wouldn't pick him out as the kind of person who you would expect to be in such a dark place that they would end up taking their own lives. But even I, as a father, didn't realise how close he was to the end. They had a very, very special relationship and um, in his farewell letter, he wrote extensively to Charlie, basically to say goodbye and to encourage him to be brave. Ross believed very strongly in the power of proper support and therapy. So he asked his family to campaign for better mental health provision. One of the things about suicide is that there is still a huge amount of stigma surrounding the subject. I believe that if I and other people can talk openly, maybe we can do our little bit to try and get rid of that stigma. That vulnerability isn't weakness. If only we could change that attitude, we could save people like Ross. We could help them to stay with us. This is Ross's tree. It's been in our garden for 31 years. And um, every time I come down, I sort of basically stroke the leaves and think about him. You know, it's a poor substitute, but, but it's a way of him sort of being with us, you know. We as a family have never been through anything this hard, but we still believe that there is hope for people. Help is there. And anybody else who may find themselves in that situation, you know, reach out to the people who want you to stay because you'll find that there are far more of them than you believe.